<laughs> if there was one issue that I could solve in the world. That's a tough one, there's so many. If I could solve one issue in the world. One issue, uh, reduce inequality. I think that would be my highest priority. So if I could solve one problem, it would be how to get the world off oil and onto less carbon intensive form of energy. If there was one issue that I could solve in the world, eliminating under five uh, mortality, we've made tremendous, tremendous gains over the last two decades. But the fact is, is that there are still a number of countries where under five mortality rates are still unacceptably high. The issue I would solve is gender inequality. At all of these organizations, 43 think tanks in 20 countries, this focus on gender inequality is a major one. They're all doing work on gender and we need to be supporting that and we need to all be working together to address this essential development challenge. Currently speaking, the kind of one of the biggest issues is climate change that is facing all of us. Based on conversations with the 43 think tanks in this initiative, that has come out on top at this current time as being such a pressing issue. Now that you can see those effects, it's starting to kind of really um, galvanise a bit more public support. And so I think that, you know, with the, the ideas and the evidence that think tanks bring to that, uh, that question is going to be, you know, crucial as the next thing to be sort of tackled. Through my journey at the TTI, I've learned it's not about themes. There are, we have lots and lots of issues across the world, right? So uh, it may be climate change, it may be migration, it may be employment, it may be gender violence. But I think that the one thing that the world doesn't talk about, maybe two things the world doesn't talk about enough and do much about, is empathy and kindness. And I think that if we could bring empathy and kindness in the work that we do every day, including at think tanks, uh, it would help resolve a lot of the big global challenges that we face today.